But I remember there were there were two of us in the formation because we normally flew in pairs. Sometimes with strikes we used to fly more aircraft, up to four aircraft. In any case, on one particular occasion, uh, we picked up a tour camp from an altitude of about 20,000 feet. Uh, this may seem odd, but you can see them. The old type of, of, of tour camps you could see because they were entrenchments, dugouts. You could see the shape of the camp. And uh, we descended some 20, 25 nautical miles from this camp. And uh, we found ourselves back to this area and we attacked the camp. We did one pass over this camp. Not a very big one, but it was, it was occupied and did one strafing run. And uh, I picked up an RPG fire, which exploded just in front of me and uh, it caused my aircraft's engine to flame out. Uh, I don't know if it was the scrapnel or possibly just the, the, the shockwave that caused it. In other words, you were completely without power? Yes, the engine, the engine stopped functioning. And at a fairly low level? At a fairly low level, but fortunately I was doing in the region of 400, 410, 420 knots. So I could get reasonably far away from the camp in case I had to bail out. Yes. The starting system in this aircraft, of course, is tremendously good. You could get it going again? And I could get it going, but it took a long time. It took nearly, nearly a minute to get the engine uh, up to full revs again. And that stays the game I was approximately 50, 60 feet above the trees and doing approximately 150 knots. Uh, so it was pretty nerve-wracking.